Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody, and how the devil are we all doing? Yo, Max, welcome in. Random, how's it going? How's it going? So, Random's question. Should I get Dark Souls 2 or Bloodborne DLC? Oof. Is the DLC included in Dark Souls 2, or are you just talking the base game? How you doing there, Random? Welcome in, mate. Welcome in. Because the Bloodborne DLC, yeah, it's great, but it's... Like, it depends how, mu how, how much is the DLC for Bloodborne and how much is Dark Souls 2. Because you're getting more bang for your buck out of Dark Souls 2 than you are for the DLC out of Bloodborne. But it just depends. Dark Souls 2 is a great game, but it's... Uh, tricksy. But how are we all doing, guys? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. So we are on day 6 of the hunt. Or night 6, I should say. Night six of the uh, yeah the hunt and we've got oh what's his name the martyr martyr something or other oh is there a sale on at the moment is there random I know there's a spring sale on Steam well, I'm assuming there's one on PlayStation as well then. Uh, so I'm actually tired. Way too many games this weekend. What, what, what have you been playing, Max? What have you been doing? But if you're tired, you know, put your feet up. Get yourself get yourself a nice hot, hot cocoa or something. Uh, you've killed Method Wet Nurse. Method Wet Nurse? You've lost me, mate. You've lost me. I'm just going to assume you mean you've killed Wet Nurse. Yeah, nice. I've actually been looking at the D4 beta in great detail. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake, of course, and the regular Destiny 2 guy. Oh, Murgo Wet Nurse. Gotcha. Autocorrect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, Max, that's, a, that's quite a chunky bit of game in there, mate. The workshop is indeed now on fire. Yeah, yeah. It happened, mate. We've, we've all been there. We've all... Accidentally set fire to the workshop. It, it happens. It does happen. Um, <laughs> but it's one of those. It's one of those. Right, how are we getting on? Let me just check everything's working on my end. I think it is. Koiki, I think it is. Uh, stream element is running. I'm trying to make sure my other bot's working. Why is my other bot not working? You might have overcooked the cook. Just a smidge. Just a smidge, mate. <laughs> oh, dearie, mate. Dearie, dearie, mate. Right. Let me, uh... There we go. Sorry, chat. I was just trying to make sure my game is capturing correctly. And we are all good. Um... So, how did, what did you think of the D4 beta? How did it go in the end? You just recovered, actually. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Just, just leave her be. She's, she's too much trouble. She's too much trouble, chat. But how are you finding um, RE4 now? You have played it a little bit more, Max. Like a year. Are you still? Okay, there we go. That, that, that answers that. Not impressed, but I get why people uh, are hyped. Right. Why was my game just gone blank? It was literally there. We go. I was gonna say it was literally just on the screen, and then it goes blank on me. Yeah, I say hopefully, you know what, that's something I've not checked today. Um, hopefully, I say I have applied for a Steam key for it. Um, odds are I won't get one. But, but, you can all but ask. You can all but ask. Um, and I've got like 20 days before the application will just uh, expire on their end. So we'll see, we'll see. You never know, chat. You never know. Uh, random, uh, Marta was a hard boss for me. So, Marta for me, on my first playthrough, I absolutely destroyed him. Like, very little issue at all. Very little issue. And I know a lot of people struggle with that boss in particular. When we played it at the end of last weekend, I struggled. I really struggled. I think, what, did we have two, maybe three attempts on him? And I was like, okay, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do here, but okay. 
So we shall see, we shall see. Uh, Max, uh, the Ashley AI is still dumbest. Oh! She was so annoying when I played through Resident Evil 4. So annoying. Ugh. Man, that's a shame they've not updated that. That is a shame. Oh, I've got a hole. I've got a hole, chat. Look. <gasps> I've been shot! Oh! Right on, right on my uh, chest as well. God damn it. Oh, okay. It appears I've got a few holes in, in my body, chat. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You guys are going to start realising I'm actually a computer-generated streamer. You're never going to believe that. I'd be better than I am now if I was a bloody computer-generated one, let's be honest. Um, right. Hmm. Have we not got any audio? That's because I've got it muted. Sorry, chat. Bad streamer. Bad streamer. So, master plan for the beginning of today, chat. Master plan for the beginning of the day. We're not going to blitz straight to the boss. We're going to have a little look-see around. Because if you remember um, on Sunday, we... <laughs> we tried to do it deathless, didn't we? I think random was it you that suggested it. <laughs> and it did not go well. So we're going to have a look around, make sure we're collecting all the stuff we need to collect. Uh, do some souls, level up. Because what level are we at now? Um, sorry, chat. Excuse me. We're level 55 at the moment. So I feel we're probably at the right sort of level for this boss. Um, but at the same time, more levels can never go wrong. Uh, Max, and what's shown in Diablo uh, 4 is good, but I'm more worried about what's not shown. Mm. Hiding stuffs, are they? Yo, Liam! Welcome in, mate. Welcome in. How the devil are you doing? Hopefully this button works. Hello. There we are. How are you doing today, mate? How's your weekend going? Uh, do you have the Orga of Ebritas? The ten Um, Is that an item? Yes. Yes, I do. But I can't use it. Okay, my audio is out of sync again, which is annoying because we've literally just started. So I'm just going to need to reset the Elgato. Um, give me a moment, chat. Give me a moment. Rather get it out of the way now than partway through the stream. So, just take a couple of seconds. Okay, eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, back in we go. Are we good? We good? It did pop up for a second, then it didn't pop up. What is going on? There we go. Okay. Do we have correctly synchronized audio? Ah, that's what I like to hear, chat. That's what I like to hear. The clickety click when I press the buttons. Right. Um, <clears throat> uh, Liam, good, good. Oh, glad to be doing well. Am I glad to be doing well? You're currently standing in the best area of Bloodborne, by the way. It's a pretty decent area. It's a pretty decent area. Would I say it's my favourite area? See... With Bloodborne, I never had, like, bits that... Like, there was never any part of the game that I actually, like, massively really enjoyed on my first playthrough. Um, it was always a bit of a struggle. And I know, like, the FromSoft games are supposed to be a struggle, but... At least in the other Souls games, I always did, like, really enjoy certain bits. Whereas this, it didn't feel like a slog or a grind. It was just... I don't know. I don't know. But I bloody love it. I bloody love it. Uh, Max, I'm fairly certain they tweak the drop rates of stuff for the demo. The dungeons are nice and they're all pretty much the same. Kill the enemies, find two keys, kill boss repeat. Yeah, standard, standard. Exploring is fun, but that will only really be fun while you level up. Once you're max level, it'll be the same dumb grind. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the nightmare areas, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head which areas I do actually like. And that's what I mean. Like, there's... Nothing springs to mind of, oh yeah, I really do enjoy like exploring that area. Oh yeah, I really do explore that. I think with Bloodborne, it's not because it's not as big a game as any of the other Dark Souls. I never felt that I was particularly spending a long time exploring any particular area over and over again. Whereas in the Souls games, I very much so 
did grind through the areas. A lot. Yo, Steel! Welcome in, mate. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Hello! I mean, I want to go and explore, but I feel like I'm going to die. I can't even remember what... I can't even remember what... Yeah, I forgot what the controls are, chat. I've had a whole week of playing God of War. I forgot on the controls. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, there's the first death. Uh, Max, it's a full-on MMO now, like in all there. Uh, that matchmaking, everyone is always there. You in the world. I love that pass. Uh, Liam, Nightmare of Menace is hell. It's very good, but the Brain of Menace is a bitch. The Brain of Menace? What was the Brain of Menace? Okay, right, so... Roll. That's what I was trying to do. Just roll. I've, I've just got God of War controls imprinted in my brain right now, chat. So, yeah, we we might die a bit right now. Yeah, I'm on controller. I'm on controller. Okay, one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Try not to trigger that one. I, I hate these these wormy snake things. There we go. And the missus just dropped her phone on off the floor upstairs. Let's get the bloody good Jesus out of me, chat. Okay. I don't even know if that was worth it. Um Right, okay. Well, we've got the item. <laughs> totally worth it. Uh, how do I run? Oh my god. I, I, I'm completely out of sorts, chat. Completely out of sorts with what these bloody controllers... These controllers are. Oh no, I'm... I'm yeah, random. It's alright. I'm, I'm, I'm good, mate. I'm, thank, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, I know, like, it's one of those... I know what the controls are, but my muscle memory at the moment is imprinted with God of War. So it'll, it'll just take, it'll take a little itty bit of readjusting. Are these things chasing after me? Oh my god, they're chasing after me. Okay, let's, let's just see if I can lose their aggro for a second. Aaron, I'm on my way to my home, decided to bring my controller for some... <laughs> nice. Right. Can I kill them? Okay. Yeah, I'm all over the place with the controls, aren't I? Jeez. I'm not even pressing the right button still. I'll get it, chat. I'll get it. Just want to see if we've missed any crates. Now we got that. Hmm, I wonder why we started down at the bottom. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's the shortcut that I could have took. Okay, it's all gravy. We'll get that item. That was not collect the item. <gasps> oh, we got a bloodstone chunk. Nice. I think I'm okay for a second. Right. Ooh. 
Can we sneak up here? Can we sneak up here without that thing killing me? Numbing mist. Okay, I don't know what that other thing is that we just got. Interesting. Well, we got we got some items. We got some items. I kind of really want to get those things over there. I've just got a funny feeling they're going to be fucking shit and not useful whatsoever. Run! Oh, that was not worth it, but we got it. And we're going to get out unscathed. Oh, oh. Speak to you soon. Okay, something just got killed. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, you killed Alfred for the honour of Kanehurst. Why would you kill Alfred? I wish all video games would just have the same controls. <laughs> uh, Salim, update on Neo. Pretty sure I'm nearing the end of the main game. It's still phenomenal. Awesome level design and boss. Okay, okay, okay. As I say, it's on my list, mate. It's on the list. It's just... How high up the list do we put it? Okay, I've done all that. So if memory serves, this is the bit that I just I just need to blitz through here, don't I? Go down here. Okay, I think we're live. Are we good? Are we back? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Hello? Is anybody alive out there? I'm not sure how this will all work on YouTube, whether it will carry on the stream from previously or it started a new one. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's anybody there anymore, but hey ho, we'll just have to run with it, chat. We'll just have to run with it. Um, yeah, so this is this is all down to since we uh, yeah since we fixed it so that God of War was working fine and the way it was supposed to work, it's now fucking everything else up, which is unfortunate. Why is that now no longer working? Ay 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 ay. Okay, so I've got that on that screen. I've got that on that screen. Perfect, perfect. So I think we're gonna have to. Uh, Potentially make it so that um, God of War isn't 100% so that at least my stream's more stable. Because yeah, now getting uh, God of War to work with the GPU is uh, is causing all sorts of issues on the stream side of things. So. I mean, I can see you, but I can't grab you. Don't kill me! Don't eat me! You know, I've just thought... I probably need to use a different link because the stream's changed, hasn't it? We'll see if that works. We'll see if anybody turns up to say hi. <laughs> oh dear. Bloody, bloody. Bloody technology, eh, chat? Who needs it? Who needs it? We're back. We're back, Liam. Yeah, sorry, mate. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, the way YouTube does stuff, when I can now that I've come back, it's not like the old stream. It's created a whole new stream so it's a different link and stuff so yeah sorry about that 
It was uh, it was caused by the issue that we were having all last week with uh, on Twitch, where since we changed the hardware acceleration stuff, it then had knock-on effects with Mushroom software, which just now does not want to work properly, which is it's just great. <laughs> Yeah, we got through Kanehurst. Well, we'd already, I'd already done Kanehurst, um, so we have already got the shortcut unlocked. Um, I've got it in my head, though, that there is a bonfire somewhere, but I just can't find it. I could be very wrong, though. I could be very wrong. Okay, so stream element bots run in. Well, that's something, I suppose. That's something. So, Liam, how did you get back onto the stream? Did you see my link in, in uh, Discord, or did it pop up for you again that I'd gone live again? I mean, I've got 10,000 things. Yo, Steel! Random. Hello, guys. Thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, sorry... For what happened, it was um, just due to my GPU crashing um, again. So you just refresh, refreshed your previous page and it popped back up? Oh, okay. So maybe it's using the same link there. Interesting. Um, yeah, so this is the first time this stream's crashed on me while I've been on YouTube. So I'm not 100% certain exactly how it handles it when I start up a new stream. Whether it classes it as a new one or not. I don't know. I, I guess what I mean. I just don't know how it works. Um, but I'm glad you guys are back. And I appreciate you uh, coming back as well, guys. Oh, no. You meant on your homepage. Oh, okay. Uh, dear, oh, dear. What was it? Buffering stream, laggy internet, or lack of likes? But, uh, pff, no, it was... Um, so, because we were running God of War last week on Twitch, my GPU wasn't being utilized by the game. So... We tweaked some settings to make it so that... Like, the game was running fine, so if anything, it was just me being a plonker, wanting the game to utilise the right part, the right hardware instead of maxing my CPU out. So we did that. We turned on hardware acceleration mode or whatever it was. That then meant the game started using up. Then ever since I've done that, we've had, we had issues all last week towards the... Well, halfway through the week. Um, with any time I tried to record the stream while streaming, it would just crash. Like, after so long. Like, it wouldn't be able to manage the encoding of it um so yeah it was i think i'm gonna have to turn that feature off so that i can record my streams um i know i could download the vods but the quality of the vods isn't as good as my recorded ones um so i just saw you went uh, live again on discord with a little purple uh dingle and click there oh nice 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 but yeah so that in a nutshell that's what's happened Right, boss time chat. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I didn't think he'd get me through the wall. God damn it. Well, that was pretty anticlimactic chat. After all that faffing, all that faffing, and I go and just get killed straight away. What a plonker. What an absolute plonker. But yeah, hopefully hopefully the stream won't crash again because I'm not recording it. Hopefully that won't happen again. In theory, there should be no reason why it would. But, you know, technology does as can technology is, and, uh, yeah, it likes to... Uh, do silly weird things on us, doesn't it, sometimes, chat? Have I been around here yet? What's down here? Is this anything? <gasps> Ooh! There's a piece of candy there, chat. There's a piece of candy. Uh, love Lagarius, and by that I mean I love killing him for Kanos. <laughs> I just love killing all things. Friends of cold blood. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I genuinely don't know what I did on my first playthrough that made him so easy. Oh, wanker. I think it was just I didn't overthink it, maybe. Shit! 
Why do I keep pressing the wrong buttons here, chat? Max, do you know what I did? Oh, do you? So I did do something then, Max. Interesting. There is something to be done. Granted, I was using a different weapon. I'm, go I'm, I'm going to assume it's either using, like, fire or bolt or something. I used some form of... I, I must have imbued something, maybe. That's the only thing I can think of. And yeah, odds are I did it without knowing it. Because, well, I had no idea what I was doing on that game. Um, or I, any of my playthroughs of any of the games, you know. <laughs> If anything went wrong, it was just pure, pure luck. I mean, that could have been bad. Do I have any other of the other papers? I mean, I could have used a summon potentially. I've got no idea. I don't think I used a summon on it. I have got some bolt papers as well, which I have got turned on, and I've got the beast pellets. So we've got we've got some things we can do. I think you did something else too. I'll watch this one closely and see if you do it or not. I don't know if it would be parrying. I don't I don't think I learnt parrying effectively that early on in my previous playthrough. Um Unless it was a bit of armour I was wearing or something like that, I don't know. Fire venture. Not a clue, not a clue. Allegoris is tough for a lot of people, so his fog wall is one of the most popular spots for Cobb. It's him fighting that prick two on one used to help people for the extra insight nice. I'm spread vile blood propaganda. Nice. Yeah, again, like, I, I genuinely think on my first playthrough, I beat him in... How many attempts have we done? Like, I think two or three last time, two or th two attempts, maybe three times today. I genuinely think I beat him on my, like, first couple of attempts. I don't know, Max, you'll be able to correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I genuinely don't remember having an issue with him at all. Uh, seal. I have acquired fruit salad. Nice. Nice. I have acquired a hole in the heart. Uh, Max, I think you beat him first time. First try, the time you were here. First or second try, if it was upsetting the Lenny. Ah, uh, yeah. Isn't it a shame when you can blag stuff and then you don't blag it again when you come back to it? I genuinely just... I'm trying to rack my brains to think of what sort of mechanics and things did I try and utilise. But I knew, literally, I was as bad as Jon Snow. I knew nothing, chat. Oh, come on, that's going to hurt.
Oh, fucking hell. We were all thinking you'd be stuck here a while and you just tore him apart. <laughs> well, this is karma then, isn't it? This is karma. For me beating him so easily the first time round. I genuinely can't think what I would have done. Like, literally, I didn't utilise many mechanics in the game. I mean... Armour-wise... I mean, was I wearing the doll hat by that point or something stupid like that? Um, I think I just used the saw spear. Maybe I used one of these things? Shifts weight to deflect attacks. I remember using this lead elixir thing. And, um... Not really. I remember using it and I was just like, I just feel like this has made it really more difficult. Um, the pungent blood cocktail. I don't think, is this guy a beast? I don't think I've used this on him before. And I think that only works for blood starved beast. I don't know. Um... Yeah, other than that, I genuinely don't know. Uh, Palmer, got anything that is equivalent to a Dark Souls firebomb? No, n not, not as far as I'm aware. Uh, right, we're going to try fire again. Oh, I've only got ten blood vials as well. Shit. Anyone else level 110? How are you level 110 already? Holy moly. I'm only level 55. I don't even know if I got to level 110 by the time I'd finished the game. I'll have to have a check through my previous playthrough. I don't, maybe I was. I don't know. Stand in front of him and use the music box. <laughs> now, I'm pretty certain that that works for Papa G. That one hurt, that one hurt, oh my god. Oh fuck me. Okay, I feel like this isn't working as well as the bolt paper was. That one hurt. Oh, now he's getting aggressive. Now he's getting aggressive. Now he's... Yeah, I forgot about that. Mate. Yeah, he changes, doesn't he? He changes. He gets really stabby, 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 stabby. Shit. So that's when I need to then start parrying again. Okay. Okay. Like, how the fuck did I just blag this on my first up? You didn't use the music box. Why would I use the music box? Papa G's the father of the music box girl, kid, whatever, isn't it? Oh, I've only got no. I need. I need to go and farm some stuff. Chat. We've we've got four bloody doobie firkins. We need to. We need to get some more uh, blood vials. This uh, this won't go well.
It just boggles my mind how I completely and utterly smashed this guy first time or second time on my previous playthroughs. Without even knowing it. And now I know how to play the game to a degree. I'm struggling like hell with it. Pardon me. Not the cum dungeon. <laughs> I was actually thinking, oddly, I was, what was I doing last night? I was looking at something last night to do with Bloodborne. I can't remember what it was. I think it must have just been a YouTube video or something. I was like, hmm, maybe I will have a go at the dungeons, actually. The challenge dungeons on this playthrough. I was looking at platinum trophies for it. Um, and I thought to myself, yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will go and try and finish off the, the dungeons on this playthrough. We'll see. We'll see, chat. We'll see. Okay, right. So we've got we've got plenty of Doobie Firkins. I don't think the bolt paper did particularly much use. But I need to remember that when that guy goes into super crazy phase. I wonder if there's a way I can stop him going into that phase. I wonder if it's like... Um, is it Smelter Demon in DS2? Where if you attack him, they don't go into the crazy phase. Hmm. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. No, I said don't fall! Get up your penis! Ladder. Go, 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 go. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, and I, I say I did some of the dungeons on my first playthrough, but it got to the point where I got to, I think maybe I did like three or four of the dungeons. And then I got to the one which then had um, uh, the ROM boss. And I was like, I've already beaten ROM and it was a pain in the ass. I don't want to, I, I can't be asked to fight this guy again. I don't need to fight this guy again. This isn't part of the main game. And then I've, that, that was the point at where I then gave up on the dungeons. Um, but they were all right up until then. It was it. It didn't seem it, to me. It didn't add anything to the game as far as my my experience of it. Just more annoyingness that I had to grind through some other part of the game. But again. I, I was in a bad mood when I first started playing uh, <laughs> Bloodborne. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm trying not to let my first playthrough taint my second. And it's not so far. Except for the fact that I found that this bloody boss easier the first playthrough. I mean, what the fuck is that all about? Uh, the lore on Rom is cool. To be fair, again, like, I really didn't follow the lore at all in this game. I, like, I didn't really follow it in any of the bloody Dark Souls games. Um, I was just too bloody focused on trying to learn how to play the damn things.
Yeah, that doesn't look like it's going to stop it. That does not look like it's going to stop it. That did not look like it was doing anything to him. Yeah, that's definitely... It's like my bullets are going straight through him. What the fuck is that all about? Yep, they are doing no damage whatsoever. What the shit? Fuck me. Oh my god. Yo, Ribs! Welcome in, mate. How are you doing? He's a wizard. What? Rom or this guy? How you doing there, Ribs? Welcome in, mate. Welcome in. I'm getting my butt kicked by a guy I beat my first, -ish, first few tries on my first playthrough. And I've got no idea how I did it. What the actual F is going on on this game? I've got no idea. Uh, Ribs, not the worst. Saw your YouTube video today. Great work, especially with it. Yo, Ribs, I appreciate it, mate. Thank you so much, dude. I mean, they've taken me a long time. Far too long. I've been, I've literally been working on those video, those two videos since like the beginning, like the first two weeks into January or something like that. And they've just taken a lot longer than I was expecting. I was hoping to get like four or five videos prepped for the release and have them ready for the end of February. And it was like end of March and I'd only got two of them done. Um... But, you know, better late than never. But I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you taking the time to look at them. So thank you, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully, watch this space. There'll be more to come. More to come, mate. But how's your weekend been anyway, Ribs? Other than spending time watching my YouTube videos. I hope you well, my buddy. I hope you well. Um, pfft. Calms and nerves. Those who delve into the arcane fall too easily. All too easily to madness, and thick human blood serves to calm the frayed nerves of those. Actually, something lead to a reliance. Like, you see, it just doesn't explain what these things bloody do. No idea. No idea. Uh, what do you mean other than that? I've been watching them back to back for the last hour, Lib. <laughs> That's supposed to say 19 hours and sound obsessive and that was You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. 19 hours wouldn't have made sense because they only went live nine hours ago. <laughs> so if anything, it helped you. It helped you seem like you were just being, you know, a standard uh, fanboy and not... Uh, a lunatic. <laughs> but yeah, chat on that note, if anybody would like to uh, give Dark Souls a go and they've never played it before, I am actually now um, working on a a, uh, a little a little YouTube uh, series to guide you guys on your way. You know, taking my experience of my playthroughs and then uh, a pinch more to try and you know help you guys not make the same mistakes that I did. But you know, without spoiling it. And that's, uh, yeah, the first two episodes of that are live on YouTube. So check them out. Check them out, like them, comment on them. Everything, everything's uh, appreciated. And you're number one fan. Yeah. <laughs> so, mate, Ribs, someone has to be. Might as well be you. A quick question for chat. Uh, which question deserves the title of Old Reliable? What, on this game? Old Faithful? Um, well, for me, I've only really played with three weapons. This weapon, the Saw Cleaver. I suppose I use the Saw Spear a little bit. 
Um, and what's the flippity floppy one? There's a weapon that's all flippity floppity. And I loved it. I loved it on my first playthrough. Let me have a look in my Bible. Weapons, where are the weapons? Hmm. Hmm. Why is it not listed? Okay, well, some, something's attacking me. I should move. Yeah, ribs. I, I'm the same, mate. I'll go with... Yeah, that looks like that's got a high damage number. I'll go with that. Um, let me just drop down here. Hopefully the thing won't get me. And I'll have a quick look at this list. 398. One second, chat. One second. Uh, so it's not the source spear. Maybe... Maybe the burial blade? I don't think it would be, though. I don't remember being like... I'm sure it had, like, the name Kane in it. But it can't... It wasn't the Kane. So I'm just, I'm just going through my Bible here of all the weapons. Maybe it was just the Beast Claw. No idea. Unless it was a DLC weapon. My book doesn't... Are, are there any additional weapons in the DLC? Uh, can we get an every sensual licking of the lips when we hit 69 deaths? I'm your number one fan. <laughs> yeah, Ribs. It's the... Um, the official... Uh, Future Press Bloodborne Guide. It is... I've, I've got it for all the games. Um, except for DS3, which they didn't do. Another company did the DS3 one. Um, yeah, they're like they're like the Bibles. Oh, it, proper high quality, mate. I may have spent a little bit more than I should have done. Um, but based on the amount of content that I do for the um, Soulsborne ones, um, I need it. Unfortunately, this one doesn't cover the DLC. That's a separate book. But like... I. I I, I, I've been bidding on them on um, eBay and I just can't get one for, you know, without selling my house. Um, they're ridiculously expensive. They're hundreds of pounds um, for some reason. The Bloodborne, the Bloodborne DLC one, the old Nightmare um, edition or the old Hunter's Nightmare or something, it's ridiculously expensive because um, it's out of print now. So uh, no ribs. I haven't. I, I only bought the guides this year. Um, I've been. I bought them because I'm doing these YouTube series. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I got the information in a logical format that I could easily make these videos for you guys. Um, I haven't actually really been utilising them for my playthroughs, just for the video, the content in the videos. Maybe it's the beast. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to have a gander. A lot of re generally ribs, just research, 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 research. I just don't know how to deal with this guy. I don't know what to do. Fuck me. Uh, random chicken nuggets or chicken tendies? Mm. Is a chicken tender more like a, a mini fillet? 
float like a butterfly, sting like my pea. Yeah, is a chicken tender? Yeah, is a chicken tender like a fillet? I've never actually seen a, t a chicken tender sold as a chicken tender, if that's what it is. Tendies. Tens are better, but I'm not sure I know the difference except tenders are long. I think that's a chicken fillet then. Yeah. Oh, now I can jump backwards. Mm. 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 Yo, no, we should catching a bit. It's really starting to bug me now that I'm struggling on this fight. There's one thing that I haven't done on this playthrough, which I know I did on my first playthrough, and that might be why, because I don't understand the mechanic, is insight. I used to buy things with my insight, and I used to do the dungeons. I haven't done that on this playthrough. So unless there's something that doing the dungeons or spending insight that does that would affect this boss, maybe I bought something that would help me with the fight. I might have to go to the nightmare, uh, back to the hunter's place and have a look, see if there's anything in that shop that I might have bought. Possibly. A tender's like, so I'm guessing a tender's just a big chicken goujon. Yeah? Max, is it to do with my insight? I mean, we could try one of them. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is what? Why am I running so slowly? What have I done? Oh my god, what have I done? I made it so I run really slow! Why would I do this to myself? Well, that was a mistake. That was, that was a big old... Do you want a definitive answer to that question? Yeah. I don't know what the answer... Like, I'd... I'm not asking you to ex necessarily explain if it is to do with my insight. Just as a yes, no. I looked up goujons and chicken tenders came up. I think they're the same. Okay, okay. Yeah, because a goujon's just like a fancy way of saying chicken nugget, essentially. What? It's like a... Yeah, it's just a long chicken nugget. But so is a chicken fillet. Like, if you go to KFC and get a chicken fillet, insight affects this fight quite a bit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, let's go see what's at the insight store. Okay. 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 Because from what you guys have... I think you guys told me is that my insight was linked to seeing the amygdalas, right? Or was that something else? I'm sure one of you guys mentioned something to do with the amygdala. Being able to see the amygdalas was linked to your insight, either having a n not enough or having t too much or something. Wait, what could we buy? Hmm. So, if I was a betting man, I think we've got two options here. Well, there's definitely only two options here. Either 
either either I didn't either I don't have enough insight right now or I've got too much Needed to ring a special bell, but induces frenzy. Hmm. Uh, random, I'm talking about chicken and a blood bot. Mate, to be fair, it's not the weirdest conversation we we have on chat. <laughs> we spent a good portion of, was it last week or the week before, talking about eggs and chicken periods. It's a weird channel. You'll get used to it, mate. You'll get used to it. Well, I suppose the thing to do is try giving myself a shitload of insight. And then if it doesn't make the fight easier, get rid of the insight. I don't think this is what I would have done. I don't know why I would have just randomly given myself a load of insight when I know I can buy stuff with it. So, I'm going to guess it's the other way. Wait, did I put my last death on? Chat, did my last death go on? Where's Max's message? No, my last death didn't go on. No, we're not winning ribs. No, no. We're going to see if me having a shitload of insight makes the bet fight better. If not, we're going to try getting rid of all the insight and see if that makes the fight better. Sixty-nine deaths. Mm. There you go. That's all you get, mate. That's all you get. <laughs> Nothing more. Are you all enjoying my hole, by the way, chat? I got, I got a hole in my heart today. Shout through the heart, and Ribs is to blame. He gives Chad a bad name. Bow, 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 bow. I didn't really commit, but beggars, I'm choosing. This is true, mate. Spend some insight on Get Good. This is true. Please don't make me fall off again. I'll never survive! Oh my god. Ow. No, no, no! <laughs> Fuck a badger. Leave me alone. Right, can we get up here without getting really killed now? Whew. I mean, 89 in, uh, insight seems like a lot. Oh man, I should have gone for 69. Then we would have had the double 69s on the screen at once. God damn it. Missed a trick there, didn't I, chat? Completely missed a trick. Doesn't work over here, ribs, unfortunately, mate. I'm working on it, mate. I'm working on it. I mean, I can do it. Somewhere. Can I? Does it work if I do it? One second. I just don't, I just don't know where any of my buttons are. I'm a penis. 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 Oh, I'm, I'm a penis. penis. There you go. You got both, mate. You got both. Yeah, works if I do it, not if you do it, though. My buttons are linked to Twitch. So technically, Ribs, if you go over to Twitch, 
but don't do that. Um, but if you did, you could do things in my chat and it would work. On this channel. Because they're still it's still linked to my OBS. It's weird. Right, okay, so 89 insight. Let's see what the devil happens now. Oh god! Oh god! I can parry him! So that's what I did. No! Oh, God damn it! Man, how the hell did I deal with that last time? Holy shit! Okay, so, Max, am I understanding what's happening now? Well, I say understanding. So, before I couldn't shoot him or parry him, but now that I've got a shitload of insight, I can? Is that what I did last time? I just happened to have a load of insight and I could parry him? Oh, I've got no blood vials. That has nothing to do. What you. What? So the fact that I'm now able to parry him where I couldn't before has got nothing to do with the fact that I've got the 89 insight. That is a complete coincidence. But it didn't work before and now it does. Like my bullets are even doing damage to him. And they weren't before. What? Yo, welcome in. Best area is Nightmare Frontier. Oof, oof, oof. I mean, it's a cool area. Oh, shit. It's a cool area, but... <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. 70 deaths! But welcome into the channel. 
I fall off things a lot. It happens. It happens. The fact that we're only on 71 deaths. Oh, it's 71, not 70. Is amazing. Yeah, Nightmare Frontier. I think, have we already, I think we already did the Nightmare Frontier. Bergenworth is a really pretty area. I enjoy the, um, well, I don't enjoy it, but I think in an area that's very aesthetically pleasing, it's, I think it's a bit just before Bergenworth, the, um, the, like the, what's it called? Like the hospital place, the, is it the lecture hall? I don't think it's the lecture hall. Um, just before the clock tower, the, that whole area was like the celestial emissary and all that area. What's that area called? The clinic. No, no, the clinic's the beginning bit, part of the game, isn't it? Where you start. Not that bit. Is it Bergenworth? Wow, these legs are crazy. Yeah, whichever bit's got the Celestial Emissary, that bit. Again, it's a horrible area to have to go through, but visually, I remember it being very pleasing. Like, don't be wrong, Canehurst is a nice area. I just wish Canehurst was a bigger area and there was more to explore. Like, I do like exploring a good castle, and they just don't... This area just doesn't give me enough. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again, chat. Let's try this again. Nah, not a both Cathedral Ward, no. Way after that, way after that. Alright, let's just do a test, see if we can parry him. I guess I can't... Well, let me just see if I can do damage to him. Okay, so yeah, we're doing damage to him again. What? What the hell? Why do I keep going so up and close and personal with him? <clears throat> yo, Random, thank you so much for hanging out and you have a cracking time at your relatives in Ohio, mate. You take care, buddy. Appreciate you seeing Bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Yeah, now that I know I can pay him, he's easy to parry. On my first playthrough, I blitzed this guy, no problem. I'm struggling so much now this time, mate. No idea how to deal with him. Oh uh, yeah, there's no point in me doing this. I need more blood files. Appreciate it, random. Yep, guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel as well. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, so anything you guys can do, if you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. Click it. Go on. Click it. Click it now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um, yeah, so every single subscribe does massively help out, and it's completely free to do. It's completely free to do the old subscriber room. First time you played, you got lucky and parried him three times, and that was it. What? Like I've parried, like I just fought him and parried. Like what level were you? Like previously to, I think you just popping into the channel. I parried him like three or four times in a row. You did a lot of challenge dungeons. So, so do you, do you reckon you were quite high leveled then? I mean, we could do a chalice dungeon, get some levels up. Let me just do I have to do that one first. Skill stat and runes can make parries very powerful. Oh, you know what? Yeah. 
We haven't leveled up skill at all. Yeah. That's the only other difference in my first playthrough. That's it! The safe! That's the weapon that I had on my last playthrough that I really enjoyed. Chat. Is that a DLC weapon then? That's the flippity floppity one, isn't it? Like it kind of flips back and bends as you swing it. Okay, we need some blood echoes. That. It's alright, I was trying. I've got a guide, but the guide doesn't cover the DLC stuff. And I really enjoyed using that weapon on my first playthrough. I used the saw cleaver for all of the game until I got that weapon, and then I went started moving to that weapon. Um, and I couldn't find what the name of it was. So thank you, thank you. You've uh You've solved a little mystery anyway. Right, we need to go and do some farming. So where is a good farm? So the the yeah, DT, the main game the main game is just in this guide. And then if you get the old Nightmare um, Future Press guide, that covers the DLC and some other stuff in the main game in further depth. Oh, Liam, I'm not saying I did... Um... Oh, you're not talking to me, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's go get some, uh, let's get some souls. They don't give me much, do they? Ooh, piece of candy. Okay, so we're just going to get some, um, farm some blood echoes here. Or die. Because apparently, that's what I'm going to do. Just, just get myself absolutely killed. We're just gonna farm. We're just gonna try and farm a little bit here. Um, just so we can get enough to get get a couple more blood balls. Then we'll possibly. I think we'll just do the first dungeon. Try to see if we can build up some more levels and some more equipment and stuff. That'll do. That'll do for now, chat. That'll do for now. Uh, Rubes, can I ask how much the books cost? So, the books cost as much as somebody wants to sell them for ribs. They're not, um, they're not, they don't make them anymore. They're not for sale. You can't just, you can't just buy them from a books. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just buy them retail. You can only get them when people resell them. Um, so they average between 50 and 200 pounds. Give or take. If you're lucky, 50. Yeah, they're pricey. But what I would say is, like I've, I've got the first Elden Ring one that was released. The second one's on pre-order. They're only thirty-five pounds. So if you get them when they're actually officially released, they're so much cheaper, mate. So much cheaper. Um, right. So let's open that. go okay and then we'll spend the rest <laughs> yeah so like for someone like me I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these guys like a lot of use um, and the thing is as well they are beautifully done they are the best game guides I've ever seen ever like I always used to love the piggyback guides for like Metal Gear and stuff like that and thought they were phenomenally in depth these things are just beautiful. <laughs> beautiful.
Now, you think making uh, doing a lot of the chalices on your first playthrough made the main game easy, uh, but the chalices themselves can be tricky at times. Yeah, they can be, yeah. I, as I was saying, I did enough. I did the chalices up to the point where you go against Rom as a chalice boss, and I'd got, like, I'd had enough of refighting the same bosses over and over in that respect in the dungeon, so I was just like, nah, I can't be bothered with this anymore if we're going to just keep coming up against bosses that I've struggled with. Um, so that that was the point where I got. I genuinely don't know how many that was. I don't think it was many chalice dungeons into it. Um, but that, yeah, I, I, I gave up. I gave up at that point. It just complete, like, I wasn't massively interested in the dungeons to start off with. And that just, uh, yeah, died a death. Uh, ribs, for someone like me, I'm going to get a lot of use out of them. Four hours later, spills a drink on them. Hey, I, I haven't spilled a drink on any of them. My drinks are kept over on my one side of my desk, and if I've got my guides, they're very much further. They're, they're a good meter apart from each other, Ribs, so I'd have to have a really bad accident for them <laughs> to get covered. Oh. Okay. If memory serves, this particular chalice dungeon wasn't actually too tricky. Right, you'd have to bear with me, chat. It's been a while since we've played this game, so I can't remember if there's any good things to get in here. Memory says there's like two areas. There's one that's locked. You have to go and do the other bit first. The other bit then unlocks the main bit, I think. So we're just gonna we're just gonna just gonna have a little look see. And see what we got. And there was this thing down here, which... Again, you, you need to do certain bits in certain orders. Okay, so that's presumably going to get unlocked when I do something else. So chat, remind me to come back down here after I've done something else. And I think there's like gloopy things that drop down and attack you. So I have to keep an eye out for those as well. Just break it. Hmm. I don't know if I can. Oi! Fuck my... Uh oh I wouldn't say I find the, the Chalice Dungeon spooky. I think they, de they definitely have the same vibe as the rest of the game. Which just at any moment something could just make me go... Oh. <laughs> well, that's just because I'm a, you know, I'm a plonker. And don't pay attention. Don't look around corners when I walk into somewhere. Okay, so that's that little bit done. So I think we go up here first. I don't know what you're on about the skinny fast guys in the hinter tombs. No, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, mate. Pay attention, pay attention. Mm. 
No, 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 no! Oh. Uh, Rip sends Fortress flashbacks. Yeah, the... Uh, <laughs> but the amount of times I've got knocked off by one of those. Having timed it perfectly, just for an enemy to hit an arrow at me, which would make me stagger back a little bit. And completely fuck up my timing for it. The bastards. Right, so... You know, I can't remember which one we're supposed to do first, but I think I think we go and do the left one first. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. Let's try and pick them off. Oh yeah, those those things come back, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I remember. There's this guy with the bell. I think he stops the rest of them from respawning back in. I think. Just wait for that poison to drop off. I get all those guys to follow me. Okay, it wasn't you I wanted to follow me. Get wrecked, mate. Okay. I remember there are some Chalice Dungeons which absolutely confuse the crap out of me. They are like proper mazes. Why can't... Okay, so that's... Lo unlock the other thing. So I wonder if that's unlocked that thing that I asked you guys to remind me about as well. Let's have a mooch. Let's have a mooch. It might only unlock once with um Was it in here? It wasn't in here, was it? Nope. Okay. Didn't need to go in there. Did not need to go in there. Oh shit, you can just break it. Fuck. Oh, Liam, I thought you were joking, mate. Uh, I hate the side areas in Chalice Dungeons. Most of you are useless looting them. Uh, but then one... Sorry, just want to make sure I'm not dying. Uh, one has the Haze Extractor and another has the Beast Claws. Ah. Oh yeah, so mom's come back here when I've done something. You'd never forget to do that. <laughs> I trust you guys. Oh shit! Dead. Nice. 
definitely a little bit over level fat. I thought it'd be funny if uh, to leave it there and just let you think it was a joke. <laughs> I, I I did. I genuinely thought it was a joke. Genuinely thought you were just joking. Um, right. So, simples. Job done. Level one or layer one, whatever it's called. Done. Yeah, you can, to be fair, that is true. You can use the coins. I've never really thought to use them in that respect, but it is a good call, actually. Knowing me, though, I'd put a coin down, and then when I'd go back to there, I'd be like, now, did I put that coin there to remind me that I've been this way, or that I needed to go this way? I'm a bloody useless at it, chat. Like there, I've just run straight into this area, and I probably should have carried on dealing with this bit first. No, 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 no. Get off me, you little bastard. So we came in from that way. So let's have a look in this bit first. I've got a torch, haven't I? Don't I? Ah ha ha ha! There we go. I need to remember these things. <laughs> Just ambling around here in the absolute pitch black. I've got a fucking torch I could use. Got a penis. See what I mean? Penis. Uh, I don't think. Did, did I. Have I bought the lantern yet? I can't remember if I've bought the lantern. I'm about to get attacked. Yeah. Uh, simple answer, I can't remember. And now I'm lost again. Great. Great. So that one's locked. That's where we came in. That's where we got to go. Right, this way. I, th I feel like I found a lantern. Yeah, I could have sworn we had the lantern on last week. Cause I'm sure somebody asked me why I was glowing. Yep, nope. Don't have the lantern. <laughs> I need to go and buy the lantern. Okay, so now we'll go through here. Can't go there. Can't go there. Got to go up the ladder. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go up the ladder. There's just too many different directions to go. I don't like having multiple choices. Just give me a linear path. And I'll do it. No problem. You want a piece of me? Okay. Okay, so we got that. Nothing there. Anything around the other side? Nope. Nope. OK. 
Okay, let's rock and roll, chat. Let's rock and roll. So, okay, so that's that room done. So, 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 so. Back over here, and then we go through this one. Oh, this is not going to be fun, is it? Uh, Liam, I didn't get the lantern because I thought it would make enemies see me easier. I mean, it's a it's a valid concern. You just don't know how intricate the games are going to be, do you? Okay, there's another little room in there. There's the bell dude. There's gotta be a bell dude. I mean, it doesn't have to be a bell dude. There's probably a bell dude. Get wrecked, mate. Get wrecked. Dead. Bell dude's up there, bell dude's up there. Okay, let's just pull this lever first before I forget. Fuck's sake. Keep looking at the wrong side of it. Come on, pull the... Ah! Right, where the hell is this bell dude? Okay, they're done, they're done. So is that... Where, where did I even come in from? Torch! Right, so we came in from that way. Yeah, we came in from that way. Anything else down here whatsoever? Nope. Okay, so I think we're covered. We can go back to the beginning. Uh, Max, tried the Elden Ring patch, by the way. Ray is a bit slow and looks not much different. And the balance adjustments killed my favourite build. Oh, no! Man. Well, all I can say is I hope that, that that it means that the DLC is going to be adding some other thing that you guys can enjoy just as much instead. Looks like there's some chests down there or some shit, doesn't it? Have I already been down there? What the fudge? What the fuck is that noise? Oh. Oh my god, the game's trying to kill me, chat. The game is trying to kill me. That was bloody lucky, wasn't it? Oh, okay, we're back here. Brilliant. Right, so now we open this bit. How many different layers are there to each dungeon? Or does it differ per, per, per dungeon chat? Oh, is it the three big guys? It is the three big guys, isn't it?
Simples. Uh, max have three, some have four. Okay, cool, thank you. Uh, max is fine. Uh, I'll just find a new favourite build. Good thing about Elden Ring, there's so many. See, that's the thing for, for someone like me. I haven't got a clue about builds. So it means nothing to me. Literally means nothing to me. I don't do builds. <laughs> I just I just hit things with a big stick and hope for the best. It's not entirely true. I have done a little bit of builds. But yeah, hitting with a big pointy end generally works for me. Oh, really? Any reason why you tried it specifically in Demon Souls and none of the others, Liam? Okay, layer three. Uh, the Yarnum Hunter hat is underrated. It's your favourite in Bloodborne. Nice. Why do you avoid magic? Magic's fun. I'm so glad I did magic for DS2 on my second playthrough. I can't wait to replay through Elden Ring and do a magic build on it. Because the magic in Elden Ring just looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Oh, is that the summon? <gasps> Ooh! Oh, that does not bode well. That does not bode well if the game's... Potentially giving me a summon already. <laughs> Holy crap. Remember this part of a dungeon. What? Oh, I do. Oh, man, I really didn't think this part of the dungeon was this soon. There's some horrible stuff in this dungeon. Why didn't I bring the summon? Why didn't I bring the summon? <laughs> Yeah, I really wish I could play the Demon Souls remake. Unfortunately, I don't have a PS5. Um, but yeah, I would I would love to play Demon Souls. Um, to play the remake. Yeah, they've just done a superb job with it. From what I've seen, anyway. From what I've seen. Yeah, but every now and then it's fun to do a little bit of an OP, OP uh, playthrough or something. I dropped into the wrong part of the town here. I hear the bell. I don't see the bell. Okay, we need to get upstairs. Where was the stairs again? Okay, there's that there. Is that where I came into this area? Oh, that was a big boom. I mean, I could call the thing down again, I guess. Or not, because I can't remember where it was. Right, never mind, chat, never mind. I'm sure there's a set of stairs somewhere.
these things are out to get me tonight. Okay, there's the stairs. Bloody hell, I knew that was somewhere. Okay, Mr. Bellringer, where the smegging hell are you? Lovely. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, I really, I really do love the combat in these games. In all, in all of them, like generally, all the Souls games, it's just, it's great fun. It's great fun. I really hope that I get, get the knack of Sekiro on my next playthrough on it though. I say, my first playthrough was just so bad. It was so bad, but it's such a beautiful game, and I really, I really want to be able to do well on it, and in, like, for it to flow when I play it. I just need to get good. Is there someone that just moved behind me? Hmm. Um, maybe uh, I'll try a Faith Arcane build for a change. Yeah, get some bleeding incantations and frenzy stuff. I mean, I understand that all of those are words, Max, but what they actually mean in the real world. <laughs> I don't know. No, don't kill the pilgrims. I'm killing everyone. <laughs> yeah, asking me not to kill someone in a Dark Souls game is uh, never going to happen. Everyone must die. To counter the amount of times I've died. Yeah, the pilgrims can get fucked. If they didn't want to die, they wouldn't be in Bloodborne. Oh shit! Fucking hell. Oh, there was a ladder. Where was the ladder? Yink. There we go. Okay, up we go! Oh god damn it! Another one of these areas, chat. Okay, so we'll go. We'll go over and do this bit first. I feel like the light at the end of the tunnel is trying to lure me into a trap. Okay, or not? I just don't trust this game. <laughs> I just don't trust any of these games. Where the freaking hell are we now? I feel like I remember this room and something bad happening in it. It's going to be after I've opened the chest, isn't it, chat? Yeah, let's just do it then. Tomb Mold. Uh, what's a labyrinth mole? You'll have to excuse my severe lack of knowledge on what's what in this game. Okay, so we've unlocked something. Is this an actual thing, or are you guys just memeing me? I wouldn't be surprised if you were memeing me. It happens a lot. <laughs> it's not even supposed to be in the game. What? So it was like something that they designed, changed their mind, and then somebody snuck it in. I'll have to have a Google on this later. Interesting though. Right, so we unlock the door. 
I just feel like... I feel like I'm missing something in that area. Oh, what? Wow, I'm so lost. Genuinely, I'm so fucking lost. <laughs> okay, let's go back down here. Down here, through here. Oh, what? And now I'm back in here? How the fuck did I end up back in here? Already unlocked. Okay, so... Is there an... Is there another... What? There's got to be another door out of here. No. No, the game's trolling me. Okay, there's a, there's another exit. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> it's around the bottom. I'm sure it's around the bottom somewhere. So let's just follow the edges. Follow the edges and we'll see another exit. We've got it. There's two, there it is. See, there it is, chat. I know I wasn't making it up. Maybe I was making it up. No, nope. no, nope, it's not there. Right, it's got to, It's literally got to be the passage right just here. There we go. There we go, chat. I'm not absolutely insane after all. And we are covered in some blood. Right, let's go. Uh, use a bold hunter sign. What's a bold hunter sign? Why would I want to do that? Oh, you're just telling me so that I can get out because I'm lost with you. Yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I was just thinking, why would I want to do that? Okay, we'll do this dungeon. And then we'll uh, then we'll move back on over to the other area, checks. We got we got some cash. We got some cash. Well, that guy did not sound happy about something. Probably the fact I just chopped him in two, but you know it's his problem. Definitely feel like something bad. Like, something bad's gotta happen soon, right? It just means I fit right in then with the goofy goo the goofy goos? The goofy dudes. Oh god. I, ju I just have a distinct memory of being in one of these dungeons and this room like one of these rooms with the curved floor. Something really bad goes down in one of them and I <laughs> I'm just every time I enter one I'm just like, oh god, is it this one? Is it this one? So I can go through there as well. Fudge. That was not what I meant to do. One of them has 53 spiders. Oh my god. Is that the one with Ron by any chance? So the question is, do I jump? No, I don't jump down there just yet. What's the link between the catacomb crab and Alfred? No idea. Oh, fudge. Now, 
Now down there. Now down there. Okay. Open the big sarcophagus. Uh, when Alfred dies, he curled into a ball and the catacomb crab comes from the skeletons of. Oh, nice! Okay, right, what's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, come on, brain. Come on, you can do this. You can work this out. Back this way. So we could drop down there. I think there was another. If we go back into this room, I'm assuming either. Yeah, there is a ladder, so let's have a look down here. Oh, fuck! Bloody booby traps, chat. Fuck me. Well, this room's got absolutely diddly squat in it. Ah, wait, now, so that's the bit that it just offered me to jump down. There's got to be something in here then, right? Yeah, because that was, was... Is that the same bit? Hmm. Um, those traps uh, one-shot you at level 40. Uh, yeah, they've, they've one-shot me before. <laughs> I'm sort of like, I'm in um, in Dark Souls One Sense Fortress. I'm f like, I'm fine with them. I know exactly where they are. No problem. Dodge them all the time. But this game, I completely, I, I just keep forgetting that they're in here. So I wonder why it gave me the opportunity to just jump down from that bit as opposed to... Huh? Have I missed something there? Did I miss the thing that the door opened? I feel like I missed the bit that the the whole purpose of coming in here for the And that, that's what I mean guys with these dungeons. I just get so lost and Okay, I've I've had the chest, but I also pulled a lever. So yeah, this was the bit that I could have dropped down. And then that just led to the little room there that tried to kill me. Which is that. And then that led me back into here. Which just leads me... Okay, so yeah, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. So we can go back out here, drop down. Jobs are good and... It's like a big door chat. What we got? What we got? What we got? Watchdog of the Old Lords.
mate. Let me get behind you. There we go. It's done. It's done. It's done. Woo! Simples. What a good boy indeed. What a good boy indeed. Let's go! And I think that's that dungeon done. Let's just check. Pretty sure that was it. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm pretty sure we're good. Let's go. Yeah, if you can get to the back side of that thing, so much easier. We managed to do quite a good, decent bit of damage to start off with that fight then, and then he was uh, being a pain afterwards. But we got it done. We got it done. Okay. So, to be honest, we didn't actually get as much, uh, as many blood echoes as I was hoping we might. But it's okay. It's okay. Welcome. So. Very well. I mean, we've almost got our strength up to level 50. Oh, I've already done it. I've already done uh, an SL1 of Dark Souls 1. I actually did it and finished it about a month ago. Um, really good fun. Really, really good fun. Yeah, yeah, we did that this year. That was great. That was great fun. The DLC kicked my ass. The main game, though... Pretty much blitzed it. Pretty much blitzed it with the DLC. Fucking hell, that was that was nigh on impossible. Farewell. Farewell, good hunter. Wow, well we've just got absolutely diddly squat there. Um I mean we need we need blood vials. We need blood vials and we need a lot of them. Okay, um, what's a good place to farm then, chat? And hopefully it's not somewhere that makes me want to rip my uh, eyeballs out. Oh, that, see? I knew you were going to say the lecture building. I really hate the lecture building. Yeah, I know. The last time I went up against those guys... They absolutely decimated me. I can't, and this is just the testament to what these games are like. I just completed the whole of that first dungeon and I died once. Ten seconds into this area and I just got destroyed. Man, you're fast. You're fast this time. See you later, loser. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not I'm just not gonna do this area. I I just don't like it. I just don't like it and I'm not gonna enjoy it so I'm not, I hate farming at the best of times, so picking an area that I hate is just a bad call. We're we're gonna go somewhere else. We're gonna go somewhere else. Even if it takes longer, fuck it. I just I just don't like this area. They're horrible enemies. 
And I've run out of tea as well, chat. I've run out of tea. Hi, 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 hi. What are we going to do? Right. I mean, you don't get much there. I can't believe one of my most hated places is my farming spot. Uh, I like how different people find different enemies hard, and it's that that's one of the things I love about the FromSoft games. Is um, like one of my moderators, Brad. Me and him are like polar opposites when it comes to what bosses we like. Um, it's decent blood falls at Central Yarnum. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, like we like chalk and cheese regarding what bosses we like, what we don't like. I get absolutely destroyed by quick, fast bosses, um, but I love the big honker chonkers. He hates big bosses and loves the quick, fast, more humanoid star ones. It's really weird. It's really weird. The, the only problem that I've got with Central Yarna is that there are a lot of enemies that could very easily swap them. I don't really want to use blood vials to get more blood vials. Ah! There we go. We get a few from here. I put some fire gems on the threaded cane transformer and slap the soaks. Yeah, true, true. Oh shit, shot out of the air. Never seen that animation before. Shot me in the chest mid jump. Oh, what, when I jump down from there, you mean? Or did I just do a run and jump? One thing that I really wish this game did differently was the ability to reload an area without like, I would love to be able to just touch this light, this lantern and it reload the area as opposed to me having to go back to the dream. Like I know I can utilize, oh no, I don't think I can even use those, can I? Um, it's one really bugbear thing. Oh, on the bridge. Oh, okay. So what do you reckon? Central yarn and I'll get what? Between 15 and 20 blood vials? Okay. I'll give it a blast. We'll have a look-see. We'll have a look-see. If we get more than 10, then it's worth doing. I got no scoped yet. <laughs> it happens, mate. We've all been there. We've all been there. We've all been there. It would be nice if we could get one boss down today, chat. It really... Whoa, fuck it. What the hell are you doing there? What the fuck was that about, chat? Oh no! Oh yeah! Forgot about that. Uh, yeah, the great trolls under the great bridge and the two werewolves on the bridge opposite Cleric Beast, yeah. To finish Alvin's quest after beating Lagosh, you need to go through six loading screens or something. Yeah. God damn it. 
I, I genuinely forgotten about that. so far. Who else is making a noise? Uh, and then the bridge is just through that. Is it this way or was it the other way? I think it was the other way, wasn't it? I think we've gone the wrong way. Yeah, it's the other way. It's the other way. A lot of bullets from the wheelchair guy. Ah, okay. I'm with you, I'm with you. I think if I go through here. Okay. 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 hell's the stairs? There they are. Is there a troll on top of the bridge? Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I know what you're on about now. Yeah, down there, down there. Ah, shining coins. God damn it. Well, we got... To be fair, we got, we, we got a pretty decent chunk there. I'm happy with that. That's a good little spot, actually, yeah. Troll in the dungeon! How's it going, Max? Yeah. Well, it's better It's better than this. what I got before at the other place. Which, actually, to be fair, I possibly did get more vials in the last place, so I got enough blood echoes to buy some. I can buy two more now. How many we've got? We've got 20, we've got 10 stored. Right. I think it's time to go up against uh old what's his my face. Hmm. In hindsight, I probably should have farmed enough so that we could have a, t a few goes against this guy. Yeah, I'm st I'm still not sure whether Max I need to have lots of insight or no insight. <laughs> we'll see. Don't you feel bad about beating up old man? I am an old man, it's okay. I'm just that's for me, that's just beating up a man. <laughs> I'll be pulling my pension soon. Right, where are we? Where are we? No, 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 no. This is not what we want to happen. We just want to run. And hopefully not get... knocked off. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! These are blood vials that I need. You want a piece of me then? You want a piece of me? Come get some. More insight means you're aware of more things. Yeah. Thanks, Max. Um, the red mark on the head, it's like you're cursed or something, if memory serves. Where the fuck's the exit over there? Uh, 
Oh, is it based on stamina? Ah, so okay, okay. Good to know. Yank. Okay, we're through. We're through. So the only other the, the problem that I've got, Max, is that if I try and use up all my uh, insight to see if it makes it easier, if it doesn't, then I've used up all my insight. <laughs> What have we got that we can, like, try and make this fight a little... Not that. That was bloody horrible, that was. Uh, invigorates the senses, restoring a large amount of HP. Heals HP, temporarily boosts stamina recovery speed. I mean, that's that's handy. We could chuck both of those on, just in case we need more. Right. You can always get... Yeah, I know I can get more insight. Um, Sake. Oh. We'll get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Um, just as a, a reminder, guys, remember, don't backseat on the stream as far as trying to tell me how to play it. Um, if I want any hints or tips, I will ask, so I do appreciate it. But uh, yeah, let me try and work it out for myself. Um, but I will, uh, yeah. If, if I do want any hints, I will, uh, I will let you guys know. Right. I just don't know how I did it. That first time we put the insight up, I absolutely kicked his ass and got him so freaking close. So freaking close. And then he started showering me with you know, horrible stuff. Right, so don't run, don't run, don't run through here. Just casually walk. Casually walk. Keep the stamina. La 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 la. Nope. Casually walk. Casually walk. Casually walk. I've got plenty of stamina. We're good. We're not going to fall off the stairs. We've got plenty of stamina. Happy days. We could do. We, we could do this all day. We could climb this all day, chat. Nice. Nice. Right, do we have any bolt? I, I feel like. The bolt paper really didn't help. Like, really didn't help. So I'm going to not put that on this time. And see how we get on. I mean, I still feel like that just there, on that balcony, there's a lantern. I... I... In my mind, I'm like, yeah, there's a there's, there's a there's a shortcut lantern there. I mean, oh, I'm tempted. I don't think it is though. There's no lantern there. I shouldn't try it. I shouldn't try it. <laughs> I'm just gonna end up getting myself killed. Right, let's back it up, back it up, back it up, let's go.
I didn't even look to see how much damage we did to him on the hit to see whether the bolt paper helped or not. Ah. I don't, I can't even see if I've just put my death on either. Um, is there a way that I can tell from here? Plus eight. So again, I, I, um, I can't remember actually. I don't have any souls. Um, I can't remember if I've got the items that I need to take it to the next level. So let's let's just quickly. Fuck my life. Uh, Liam, I never found that Sen's bonfire. Which which Sen's bonfire? The one. Oh well, the, the only one. The only one. When you say you never found it, have you still not found it, Liam? Um, I don't know what gems are got. One second. I can't remember what gems I've got on. I'll have to I'll have a look. Yo, Laney! Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. How are you doing, Laney? Welcome in, welcome in. Laney, there has been lots of death today. Lots and lots of death and destruction. How are you doing, Laney? Yo, Bradley! How are you doing, mate? You too, obviously, always. How are you getting on, mate? How are you getting on? Um, So we've got a... Oh, to be fair, I've got some more gems that I could pop on. Uh, mate, why are you here and not on Twitch? Uh, we always stream on... Well, I say always. Um, yeah, we stream on uh, on YouTube on the weekends. I was lit... What, really? I was in your recommended... Oh, that's awesome. I, as if. As if. That's crazy. What a small world. Yeah, it's, this is Bloodborne Redemption Run is a YouTube exclusive. As is my brand new um, Dark Souls 1 uh, YouTube series that's uh, just gone live today. There's two episodes so far. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe chat. Like, like subscribe and comment. Um, if you've never played Dark Souls Remastered before and you want to give it a shot, there's, there's a little guide that'll help you out with, uh, you know, what class to pick, what gifts to pick. And then moving forward, there'll be more episodes covering some other bits and bobs. Is that what got recommended? Nice. It's good to know that the system works. <laughs> right. Um, uh, Liam, this is actually an alternate universe. Exactly. There's, there's like, there's holes in my top. Look. Someone shot me. I'm, I'm, I'm not really here. Uh, check out the DS1 series. It's absolutely uh, top beans and been reviewed by a great LeBron. This is true. This is true, Brad. I won't I won't mention names, but there, there is a certain moderator that did spend many an hour watching the same video over and over again for spelling mistakes. <laughs> it's like seeing your teacher in public. The reaction I had. <laughs> uh, I like how we can see the game through the holes in the shirt. Yeah. Right, so let's see if we can do this weapon up, chat. Let's see if we can do it up. I can. I can do it up. But I can't do it up anymore. Um...
Okay. That, that did just have one slot, right? Yeah, it did. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Lib does, uh, Lib does have that best substitute teacher ever energy. I mean, all right, class. If you want me to start calling you guys class instead of chat, I will do. I will do it. Um, ah, oh, Laney, like I'm really enjoying this playthrough. I really, really am enjoying it. It's, uh, it's, it's been great fun. It's been great fun. I've been an annoyingly, annoyingly, Brad. You know how easy I found this boss on my first playthrough. Like almost beat it first time, no problems. It's kicking my ass, mate. It is absolutely kicking my booty. <laughs> you too, Brad. Enjoy your night out, mate. Dude, thank you for swinging by, even on your night out. But you have a fantastic one, buddy. And I will, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow night if uh, if you're not too hungover. You take care, buddy. Don't get too drunk. Maybe, he might, to be fair, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I did the DLC before I did this boss. I There's a good chance because I remember my first playthrough, I didn't know what was DLC and what wasn't. I just kept getting transported left, right and centre. So I was just like, fuck it, I'll just do it. Um, so, and I struggled for ages to find this place as in Kanehurst. Um, so there is a chance I did the DLC first, so I might have had it. Yeah, on yourself, Brad. You take care, buddy. You take care. Uh, Belani, how's your weekend? Bye, have a uh, well, day. you can no longer hide the secret of you being on YouTube from me, so you better watch. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Laney. There's, there's, there's a timer on my Twitch chat that's like every five, ten minutes tells people to follow me on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm pretty vocal about it over on Twitch that we're also on YouTube. So, I mean, if if you've not if you've not heard that I'm on t YouTube by now, it's there's, there's not much I can do about it. But luckily. YouTube covered us on that one. Well, it's a bit like it's literally only been this last month that we've been doing the live streams on uh, YouTube as well. Um, prior to that, I've just been yeah uploading videos, doing um, a, like daily YouTube shorts. Um, but you know, branching out, branching out, in on. How does the whom to hoot the the ghost ladies? Um, with with cutting words. That's how. But yeah, I've I have one YouTube channel that's lib it's called Liberalonics Live, which is just the vods from Twitch. Um, I believe that's up to date up to the end of 2022. Um, it's taken a long time to get through the backlog of that, so yeah, I'm only three months behind. But we'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. I'm currently posting the Witcher Three stuff on there at the moment. I think. Um, yeah, so I have that channel exclusively for my VODs, and then this channel, which is, yeah, my Dark Souls playthrough, uh, boss playthroughs, um, SL1 play, well, SL1 bosses, um, my new Dark Souls series, which is the new one, like, you know, got Dark Souls 101 guides that we're doing. And there will be other stuff as well. I don't want to, like, have too much variety on the YouTube channel, like, but I do, there are some other things that I other games that I would like to do little short videos of and do some playthrough videos but it's just hard to judge whether to put it all on one channel or have separate channels for different variety content it's hard to know what's right for wrong You run away from me! Oh, wanker! Can't wait for the deathless run to go. It's already on there. It's already on there, Lainey. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the, the run back to this boss, there are worse run backs. Oh, by golly, there are worse run backs. Like Dark Souls 2, for example. Um, the run back to both Sir Knight Loon in the DLC. Um, I can't remember what the two doggos are called in uh, Horse Front Valley. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a couple that are pain in the ass. 
Yeah, on my first playthrough, ONS run back was a nightmare. But there's a nice little um, skip that you can do. Uh, Ludden's Island, thank you. Thank you, Lainey, yeah. Um, if you're doing the ONS from the bonfire in Anor Londo, the, the, the one in, in, you know, by the Silver Knight, in the, near, the, near the Silver Knight area, you run to the staircase, you can do the stair jump. Yeah, yeah. It makes it so much quicker. So much quicker. Oh, Liam, yes. Four Kings, fucking nightmare. Absolute nightmare of a run back. Jesus. Yeah, bed of chaos. Yeah, there are there are a few pain in the arse ones. Yeah, uh, Laney, you're just insane. Now you can drop down in some places and you skip the whole area. Oh, really? Huh? Yo, cutie, welcome into the channel. How are you doing? How are you doing? So you go with uh, the best area in Bloodborne is Kanehurst. You know, a few people have actually said Kanehurst. I I think it's a lovely area. I just wish you could explore more of it. You know what I mean? It just feels like okay, yeah, we go go through a few of these corridors, boom, the areas, kind of done. I just I really wish there was more. We could really get into the guts of what this like castle is all about. Oh, that was close. Uh, Laney, honestly, I'm glad uh, as Souls games come out, they make the runbacks less like... Yeah. Dark Souls 3 definitely improved on it. Like, to the point with Dark Souls 3, that there are points where you can see a bonfire and then you can see the next bonfire. Which I thought, okay, was a little bit silly. Um, <laughs> but they overdid it. But I'd rather them have bonfires too close together than previously, you know. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to see more of Kanehurst. It's a lovely area, like vi visually a great area, and it just doesn't feel like that you really get chance to appreciate it. Or at least that's my that's my my take on it anyway. Yeah, that's true. It is a bonus area in the first place. That's a good point. That's a good point. Well, if we get Bloodborne two, mm, I don't think we'd ever, ever get Bloodborne two. I, genuinely, I'd be happy with anything. Elden Ring 2, Bloodborne 2, Sekiro 2, Dark Souls 4. Like, whatever content they want to release. Brand new IP in a Soulsborne format. I'd lap it up. I would lap it up. Like, I literally only started playing these games at the, end, at the beginning of last year. So, for me, I'm now in a position that... Oh, fuck. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Where I'm bait, you know, waiting with baited breath like you guys. Uh, what about Demon Souls, where you're only getting Archstone each boss fight? Yeah, Demon Souls was the like I played Dark Souls one, then Dark Souls two, then I did OG Demon Souls, and that was like a real step back. I was like, oh my god, the yeah, that was tricky. That was tricky. I would love to play the new, uh, like play the remake of Dark of uh, Demon Souls, the remaster. It, looks, it just looks beautiful. Um, I like Kanehurst because you can get completely drenched from the flea enemies. What? Actually, everyone talks about Bloodborne 2, but what about Bloodborne prequel? I think there's more room for it to expand if we get that way. Like, I think either way would be cool. I don't understand enough, like, I don't really follow the lore in these games. I really struggle to take it in because, you know... Well, you don't know, but on my first playthroughs of all the games, I did them pretty much blind. So with no like, no backseat, no help, no hints, tips, wiki, and anything like that. Um, and it was intense. I'd never really played anything like Souls prior to Souls. Um, so it was a lot for me, from coming from someone that used to play like Doom and Metal Gear Solid and Age of Empires and Command and Conquer. This was really outside of my comfort zone. Um, so yeah, I struggled to take in the lore on my first playthroughs.
Sorry, excuse me, chat. Uh, if you stand on them when they die, you get covered in blood. Ah. Uh, if Bloodborne 2 gets released, it'll probably be a PS5. Oh, yeah, any form of Bloodborne content, Sony own the IP to. Or at least, I would. I, they own the IP to Bloodborne, so I would assume they would own the IP for anything Bloodborne related. I don't think From Software could just release Bloodborne 2 off their own backs. They'd, they'd need it to be commissioned by Sony. I would assume. I would assume. But hey, if we get a Bloodborne 2 for PS5 exclusive, it's just one more reason for me to save up for a PS5. I can't justify it at the moment just for Demon Souls. <laughs> but however, if there was another game from From Software that was an exclusive on PS5, I don't I don't like exclusives though. I'd rather just everything be available on everything. Right, so what am I doing wrong? I'm not asking you guys, I'm just thinking out loud here. Because the more I'm trying this guy, the worse I'm bloody getting. can parry these attacks. That's a negatory. That is a negatory. Ah, it would help if I had the gun out. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, Cutie, I generally think uh, Bloodborne sequel prequels would only be launched with the PS6. Because ever since Demon's Souls, Sony used the series as a way to kind of market the new console. Mm, I get that. That does make sense. Like, every Sony console since then got a FromSoft game. Yeah, I suppose Demon's Souls, yeah, was a PS5. But, yeah, yeah, I suppose technically you are right there with that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, I waited since 2015 to play Bloodborne and I bought a PS4 recently. Yeah, same here. I, I, I literally only bought... I bought a PS4 last... middle of last year just to play Bloodborne. Because we, we played through all the Souls series in one go. So we did DS1, DS2, OG Demon Souls, DS3, Bloodborne, Sekiro. Then we did El finished on Elden Ring. Um, and it was literally the only reason why I bought it. I also got um, the remake... The, the, the remaster of Shadows of the Colossus because I loved that game as a kid. Um... That wasn't the reason I got it. I've now got other games for it, like um, we've got Last of Us 1 and 2, um, Ghost of Tsushima, um, what else have we got? Spider Man. And there's something else. What is the other one? Guardians of the Galaxy and something else. God of War. I bought PS4 a couple months ago and I've only played Bubble on it. Nice. Yeah, I've got, I've got Neo 1, but I've got it on PC. Um, it's meant to be really good. It's meant to be really good. I have heard conflicting things about it, though. But, you know, everyone's different, so I, I try not to take what other people say about games too much as, like, gospel. I'll always try and, you know, get my own opinion on things, but... Considering I do this full time, I struggle so much to fit games into my schedule. We've got so many to play through. And when you find an amazing series like the FromSoft games that you just want to keep replaying over and over again, it's tricky to fit all the other ones in. Oh, I love Dark Souls 2. Yeah, when I played Dark Souls 1, everyone was shitting over Dark Souls 2, telling me how bad it was going to be and everyone hates it. And then I started streaming Dark Souls 2. And then so many people came out of the woodwork of being massive fans of Dark Souls 2 and it was amazing to see. After all the shit I'd heard about it, 
it was amazing to see so many people actually really enjoy it. Oh, well, I can, I, I've got a PS3, so I played Demon Souls OG on that. Um, and to be fair, it holds up quite well, in my opinion. I don't think I can parry him in that first phase. Yeah, except for those in the DS2 community that kept um, spoiling the game for me and telling me how to do stuff. Those guys can fuck off. Um, you beat DS3, beat, you beat DS2 three times with a friend. The carp is a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately for me, when I was playing Dark Souls 2 in the multi, in the for my, the first time I when I first played them last year, all the servers were offline, so I've never played them online. And when I redid Dark Souls 2 this year, I played it online. Um, and yeah, I just got trolled by a lot of people constantly invading. The same few people invading and just trolling me while they were doing it. And then we actually had somebody, um, like, not, I don't know if you class it as hacking, but they forced items in, they forced illegal items into my inventory, which corrupted my game. So we then had to use the cheat engine to get rid of said items and it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. So I'm never going to do online on those games again. Yeah, like somebody... I spent about four four odd hours trying to work out the whole windmill thing in um, Earth and Peak or whatever it's called. And somebody just walked into chat, told me exactly how to do it and then fucked off. Uh, I, I, personally, I don't have to back up my saves if I play on PC because I'm just not going to potentially put myself and my time at risk by playing online with a, you know, potential bellends. It's, just, it's, it's as simple as that for me. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk and it's not worth the time in the aggro. I've never played these games online, so I'm not, lo I'm not miss you know, I'm not losing out on anything. The aspect of playing the invasions doesn't massively interest me. Um, like I say, I love the idea of just fighting one person, have a gentleman's fight, whoever wins, wins, everyone goes on on their merry way. But when people just keep spawning, literally I had one day when I was doing it, I just had people, the same two people spawn in, attack me. One of the person was attacking me normally, which is fine, but the, the, there was no need for them to keep doing it. And the other person just kept spawning in to just throw the bombs at me that destroyed my armor, which obviously just cost souls for me to fix. They weren't trying to hit me or attack me. They were just constantly throwing those bombs at me every time they they uh, invaded it, and it's just troll behaviour, and it's just it's just bullying in a way, and it's disgusting, and I don't like it, and it just I like playing through the game and enjoying enjoying the progression of the game, and I just feel like it just distracts from that, and. I don't. I, I, I have no time for trolls in any way, shape, or form. They're not welcome in my chat. They're not welcome on my channel. They're not welcome in my community. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to put myself through it just to play it on live mode. But I genuinely, I genuinely don't care about. I love the games, but it's a feature that it's just not. For me. It's just not. For me. I would love to try it on some of the newer games, like on Elden Ring. Um, You need to come here quickly so I can kill you. Get out of there, get out of there. You already got into your second phase, mate.
No, you fucker. Ooh, ooh. So close, so close. Almost, almost, chat, almost. Uh, that's what I mean. I really do enjoy this boss fight. This fight and Lawrence, I really enjoy. Yeah, I've got nothing in decks at the moment. Well, not nothing in decks. I've got what I started with, 13. I can only assume on my first playthrough as well, I did have a lot more in decks because I would have probably averaged it out between the two. Yeah, Liam, you've told me that story before, and that's what I mean. That is an amazing story, and it, it, it thrills me that there are people out there that still behave like that. It's phenomenal. That's what that's what it should be like. And unfortunately for me, I've just I've just had a bad experience with online in the small bit of it that I've experienced, and it's just ruined it for me. I've only got 10 vials. God damn it, Jack. God damn it. Okay. Did I put... I, I, chat, I'm not even... I can't even keep track if I put all my deaths on today. I reckon we probably must have missed a few. Just had a feeling there might be a secret thingy there with a lantern. Had to check. Had to check. Uh, Cutie, one time I went to the kitchen to get some food and I forgot I was in matchmaking in Elden Ring. When I came back, there was just two guys vibing next to me in the arena. <laughs> nice. And that's the thing. I feel like if I'm going to do any of them, DS3 or Elden Ring, I feel like there's just not... And it's, I'm probably wrong in my random assessment of this, but I just feel like there's not as many trolls in it. There's nowhere near me. Fuck's he gone?
No, the thing's not working any. Oh my god. Uh, the sword thing? What sword thing? I, I must have missed whatever you guys are on about. Okay, well, we've got no uh, stuff now, so... Time to head back. Time to head back. What time are we at? Oof, oof, oof. You know what, chat? Actually, actually, we are going ahead and going to call it there for the day. We're going to call it there. Unfortunately, but I need to get to uh, I need to get to bed because it's late. And I've got a three-year-old that's going to wake me up stupidly early in the morning, so... Right, but guys, thank you so, 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 so much for coming and hanging out today. I very, very much appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Sorry we've not managed to get a boss down. I I've got, I've got no, I've not got any health. I've not got any blood vials. No point. There's literally no point in me doing any attempt. Got no blood vials. But don't worry, because I'll be back tomorrow night. I'll be back tomorrow night at 9 a.m. No, 9 p.m. GMT. So in 21 hours, chat. Get your asses back here. We'll be back and we're going to get that boss done. By golly, we will get that boss done. Um, but guys, thank you all so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Cutie, thank you for coming in as well. It's cracking to see you again. Um, but yeah, and we're here every single weekend, 9 p.m. Um, Saturday and Sunday. And Monday through to Friday, I live stream on Twitch from 9 a.m. GMT every single day. Uh, we're currently working through God of War over there, but we also do a lot of other FromSoft stuff and various other games, Duke Nukem Doom, Command & Conquer, Age of Empires. Um, we're currently doing the Last of Us playthroughs as well, so we're going to be doing Last of Us 2. We're going to do Spider-Man soon. Um, going to do Ghost of Tsushima, Neo. We've got loads of games we're going to do. Loads and loads of games. So um, make sure you check us out on Twitch as well. I'll just put a little link for you guys uh, in chat for Twitch. So if uh, you do get a chance and you are over there and you want to drop us a follow, there's a little link for you right there. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. But it's been a pleasure um, getting to hang with you guys today. And as I said, hopefully I'll get to see you again soon. Hopefully I'll get to see you again soon. Hopefully that link has gone in chat. Boom, there it is. Um, so yeah, we're live on Twitch every single day, Monday to Friday, 9am GMT, and then YouTube on the Saturday and Sunday night. But guys, enjoy the rest of your night. I hope you've had a fantastic one. I know I have. And uh, yeah, sorry we didn't get that boss down, but we will. We'll do it. We'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow night. And uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you then. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a beautiful time.